good morning dear students now we are at the end of this chapter absorption of water in the previous lecture we studied the role of water in plants mechanism of water absorption that is active absorption of water and passive absorption of water so in passive absorption of water the root cells do not play any active role it remains passive some other force has been generated at the top of the plant generally in leaves that force we call it as transpiration force or transpiration pull is responsible for the absorption of water the transpiration pull or transpiration force it creates a tension in the xylem cells of the leaves this tension is transmitted through the continuous water column of the xylem to the root and this force then sucks water from soil into cortical cells through the root hairs so thus in the entire process of water absorption the root cells are simply passive hence this is known as passive absorption of water which is carried out without utilizing energy in the form of atp now the last point of this chapter factors affecting rate of water absorption so the various factors that affecting the rate of water absorption has been categorized into two types external factors and internal factors so the external factors these are mostly the environmental factors the plants are growing in the soil the roots are responsible for the absorption of water so various soil factors for example available soil water concentration of soil solution soil aeration soil temperature that affect on the rate of water absorption similarly there are certain internal factors for example transpiration absorbing root systems metabolism so these also plays an important role and affect on the rate of water absorption so one by one we are going to study the various factors that affecting water absorption the first one external factors so in the external factors the first one factor is the available soil water sufficient amount of water should be available to the plant so this is the requirement requisite of the plant it should require sufficient amount of water but which type of water the plant requires for absorption usually capillary water is readily available for absorption so there are three types of water that are present in the soil one is the hygroscopic water another one capillary water and the third one is the gravitational water when a little rainfall occurs the water appears in the soil is the hygroscopic water so the water molecules are tightly held on the surface of the soil particle they are having a strong force of attraction so such water is not get available for the plant not available to the plant for absorption when some more rita, some more rainfall has been occur the water appear is the capillary water that has been move from one one space to the other space the water that is in the form of a thin film and that has been move between the interstitial spaces of the soil water that water is the capillary water when the maximum capillary capacity of the soil has been fulfilled the water appear is the gravitational water so that gravitational water is not readily available for absorption to the plant so for plant usually capillary water is readily available for absorption when with increase in water beyond soil capacity the aeration of the soil is badly affected so this reduces absorption rate of the water under severe conditions wilting occurs in dry soil rate of absorption of water also decreases so the sufficient amount of water should be available to the plant usually the capillary water when the water increases beyond the soil capacity then aeration of the soil is badly affected this reduces rate of water absorption and if the soil is dry under such condition rate of absorption of water is naturally decreases second factor is the concentration of soil solution so several macro and micro nutrient elements are dissolved in the soil water macro elements those elements which are required in large quantity micro elements those are required in very small quantity so both macro and micro nutrient elements are dissolved in the soil water and they form the soil solution 
when the concentration of such macro and micro nutrient element has been increased in the soil solution it increases the osmotic pressure and when it is higher than that of the cell sap water is not absorbed so highly concentrated soil solution increases osmotic pressure and when it is higher than that of the cell sap water is not absorbed it is observed that in highly saline soil saline soil means the soil which contain more or large amount of macro and micro nutrients dissolve in the soil so such soil is highly saline soil plants fails to grow in such type of soil because of the concentrated soil solution so this is popularly called as physiological dryness and such plants exhibit xeropitic characters so this is about the concentration of soil solution when the concentration of the soil solution increases it increases the osmotic pressure and when this osmotic pressure becomes higher than that of the cell sap water is not absorbed next is the soil aeration in well aerated soil water is absorbed better as compared to the poorly aerated soil this occurs due to slow rate of respiration in poorly aerated soils which causes death of the plants in marshy soils high percentage of carbon dioxide further increases the viscosity of the protoplast and decreases the permeability of the cell membrane so due to the slow rate of respiration in poorly aerated soil which cause the death of the plant furthermore higher percentage of carbon dioxide increases the viscosity of the protoplast and decreases the permeability of the cell membrane so these factors affect the rate of water absorption this type of condition that totally blocks the absorption of water is found in the water log soil so this is the example of physiological dryness where the aeration is very low it is very poor so under such condition the rate of water absorption has been reduced next is the soil temperature the maximum absorption of water takes place generally at 20 to 30 degree celsius so this is the temperature range where the maximum absorption of water takes place it is between 20 to 30 degree celsius increase in temperature of more than 30 degree celsius retards the rate of absorption while temperature below 20 degree celsius also cause an appreciable reduction in the rate of absorption of water absorption of water almost nil almost stop at freezing temperature so this decrease in rate of absorption due to low temperature may be there are certain reasons behind this where there is a decrease in the rate of absorption of water at low temperature the first reason is the increased viscosity of water protoplasm and cell membrane due to which there is a uh, reduction in the water absorption reduce metabolic activity of the root cells reduce rate of diffusion of soil water into roots slow rate of elongation of roots decrease permeability of the cell membrane so because of this the decrease in the rate of water absorption occurs at low temperature okay next to so this is the internal factors so the first one is the transpiration rate of absorption of water is directly proportional to the rate of transpiration as we studied in the passive absorption of water transpiration pull or transpiration force is responsible for the absorption of water a higher rate of transpiration also increases rate of absorption of water due to the cohesion among the water molecules so transpiration and absorption water are closely interlinked the rate of absorption of water is directly proportional to the rate of transpiration next one is the absorbing root system amount of water absorption directly depends on the absorbing system that is the root system the number of root hairs determines the rate of absorption of water in moist soil condition more root hairs are developed which absorb the required and sufficient amount of water so the water absorption depends on the absorbing root system so if the root system possesses more number of root hairs then the root can able to absorb required and sufficient amount of water and the last one is the metabolism so in healthy plant rate of metabolic activity are at the higher rate 
द मेटाबोलिज्म इन दिस केस रिक्वायर्स पर्टिक्युलर अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर दस एब्सॉर्बशन रेट एंड मेटाबोलिज्म आर क्लोजली रिलेटेड फैक्टर्स दैट इनिबिट्स रेस्पिरेशन आर ऑल्सो नोन टू अफेक्ट एब्सॉर्बशन ऑफ वॉटर सो टू परफॉर्म वेरियस मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटी द प्लांट रिक्वायर द लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर सो इन केस ऑफ हेल्थी प्लांट द मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटी आर एट द हायर रेट फॉर दैट इट रिक्वायर्स मोर अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर सो द फैक्टर्स इफ इनहिबिट्स द रेस्पिरेशन वन ऑफ द मेटाबोलिक प्रोसेस विच ऑल्सो अफेक्ट ऑन द एब्सॉर्बशन ऑफ वॉटर सो फॉर प्रॉपर मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटी ऑफ द प्लांट द प्लांट रिक्वायर्स द लार्ज क्वांटिटी ऑफ वॉटर सो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट ऑन द एब्सॉर्बशन ऑफ एब्सॉर्बशन ऑफ वॉटर्स ओके थैंक यू स्टे होम स्टे सेफ